I mean, all the evidence is that science and engineering have to play a major role. I mean, if you look at um, you know, knowledge base, knowledge intensive services in industry, that's already what, 43, 44% of GVA. Um, and a large proportion of that is companies like uh, uh, British Aerospace, um, AstraZeneca, those companies. So, so there's a large part of a high tech science and engineering based manufacturing in that figure. And so I, I, it's obvious that UK PLC competes uh, on that ground. It does not compete, of course, in building ships or extracting raw materials out of the ground anymore, although, of course, there's North Sea oil and gas. But so, so I think that you can see the, the, the uh, countries like India, China, the big growing economies, Brazil, they know and they're investing large amounts of money. Although I'll put a caveat to that in a minute, but they're investing large amounts of money in their university sector in order that they can compete on that ground because that's where the value is in the world economy. However, it's interesting, I think, to note that it's not large amounts of money we're talking about. I mean, our university sector, which is by any measure sec second only to the United States and in some areas, better than the United States, certainly more efficient because we spend less on research than, than the United States and we have a bigger impact per pound spent than the United States. So we, we have an enormous advantage. And when you think that the university sector costs about what, at 10 billion, if you include the research, you're talking single figure billions making a difference. You're not talking about tens of billions or hundreds of billions in the economy. So I think actually that this investment in the basis of our future growth is cheap. And it genuinely is that. It's an investment. It's obvious. There's a, there's a figure which were, uh, the government have used. It was in the Wacom review. So it's a, it's a government figure. 6.4% of GVA comes from physics based industry. 6.4% from physics and we spend certainly less than a billion a year public spend on physics certainly less and um, possibly quite a lot less than that so i think it's a no-brainer the only thing i can think of is that investment on time scales like these kids that we're here today they're 16 so they're not going to be productive as scientists and engineers for at least a decade and the way that you model eco economics is that uh, anything that happens a decade hence has no value at all because that's the way that you stand in standard you discount uh, money in that investment on that on those time scales so that's the only reason i can think of that there's a kind of slightly flawed economic model because otherwise it would be ludicrously idiotic not to invest strongly in our universities and science and engineering mm -hmm.